Hey guys, welcome back. So, today's video, alright? Now, something that's been coming, um, and I figured, well, today is probably as good a day as any. Uh, if you notice, the cage is missing off me cracking. And you guessed it, yep. We're gonna do the paint job. The whole paint and design. Um, I've already started, so I'll give you a look at that in a minute. Um, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna plan out and, no, nah, no plan. We're just gonna go at it, all right? But, now, I've had word from one of the boys that we go out and play around with that we might have, let's just say, an RC track to go to. Now, I am gonna say straight away that Okay, the, the track itself is probably not big enough for all these machines. But there is a space right next to this where we can probably run these machines. So it goes back quite a few years, I'm going to say about 15-ish. Um, where a couple of buddies and myself, we found this spot down near one of the local beaches, which used to be an original skate park. You know, with the ramps and all the... But it was just a big square piece of, of um, bitumen, tar, whatever you want to call it, hot mix, you know. Uh, we painted a track on it way back then. <clears throat> and um, it's still there. Uh, we just haven't used it because it was good for 10th scale and 8th scale cars, righto? So we were using it right up until some time back now. But one of the guys, he's involved with our local council somewhat, and we may, now we've just got to try and work out how we're going to do it, but they said they may be able to help us fix it because it's got some cracks and all the rest. So maybe that's a thing. Yes, I know it's only going to be a tent scale thing. It's not the, bit, not the big two bangers, you know. But it's another avenue, so a place where we can go, um, run these. Well, I'm going to check that out first to see what that's going to be like for the big, big machines. Um, but you know, maybe I hate to say this, but could be good for our tent scale machines. Food for thought. But anyway, so I'll do a bit of a video on that. I'm going to go and have a bit of an inspection of this place and see what comes of it. Uh, might be something that we can use for both worlds, you know. Electrics and the big machines. Anywho, let's get cracking, pardon the pun, uh, on this body. Let me, let me get this camera swapped around and we'll show you what we're dealing with. Okay, so, as you can see, we've got the panels off the cage. There's me sidebinder cage right there. Now, <clears throat> with regards to these panels, I've been through you know, before, um, I've made these out of this polycarbonate stuff that's, you know, it's pretty durable. It's, I can't remember the actual measurement, but, yep, there it is. Um, and you cut them out, and I made templates when I first started doing this to keep the original body that goes on this cage because, you know, it's not... I wouldn't say not available, but I want to keep the original look because this, this was the last run of these sidebinders, right? For, from HPI, let me add that in. <clears throat> so, originally made templates to fit, you know, the certain parts and the sides and all that. And this is how we end up with this flat body panels that, because the stuff can bend, it can be like this here. You see the bends in here. And they're meant to go to bend over the side there, go down on both sides, and then so on and so forth. The camera's starting to blur because my hand's in the way. Um, but this is this is the start of it, righto? Eh? So now I've, I've already started designing what I'm going to do on here, as you can see. Um, so what we do is, the beauty of this stuff, like I've said before, is that you can draw on the outside, right? Because this has got the plastic or, you know plastic coating on both sides under there as well that makes it easy 
to put your de desired pattern, design, scheme, whatever. Draw it on here and then flip him over and cut this side out. Trim it all out. And then you do, you peel the bits off. You do all this stuff first or you do the outside first, whichever you want to do. But that, so that makes it easy to uh, bring, up, bring up your own design and, well, make it your own. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we're looking at, right? Now, as you can see, I've got like a cross between a Punisher skull and uh, this one. Um, then we've got the, the HPI logo on the top, channel, and then some HPI stuff. And, of course, the name. And I don't know if it comes up... Or, if you can see it too well on the photo, on sorry, on here, but it'll come to the end, you'll see it. <clears throat> so what the plan is, right? Now, excuse me for a moment. So what we got here, this is the paint I'm gonna use, right? So very bright, this is the colors that I'm using for this scheme, and if the damn bag will stay open long enough, there we go. <clears throat> now, these are the colors, all Tamir colors, and Get down there. Bugger it. You can see them. So, polycarbonate paints. All right, designed for this sort, this sort of application, the polycarbonate. <clears throat> so, you know, the, I mean, the yellows and the orange and a bit of red and a bit of white to back it all. So, it makes, it brings up the vibrant colour. Uh, this is it, well, that's a pearl white. But, um... That's all I could get in the polycarbonate paint at the time. So it'll do. So that's the colours. And we're going to start, you, you'll see as we go through, I'm going to start with the yellows at the front and blend into the orange and then red. I mean, that's there's not much difference between those two colours. But when you look at it close, you think, yeah, that's red. And it even says so on the top. Um, and then, like I said, red on the back. So, I mean, yeah, okay, the cage is a bit dirty, but we'll, we'll clean that up before we stick all this back on. Um, yeah, and like I said, we back it, back it all with white. Helps make the colours vibrant, if that's what you want to say. But also, <clears throat> prior to that, now, when you're painting polycarbonate, the best plan of attack is, if you have dark colours, <clears throat> like what I'm going to use here, is black for all these except for here except for these two pieces here on the hpi symbol that will be whatever the body color is because all around here will be black right um do the do the black first all right because what can happen if you're going to paint and I, I, I mean i've made this mistake in the past right I, leaving that to last <clears throat> the dark colors because what what it then does do even though if you're back it with your whites and whatever else the black will still show through and it'll it'll change the color or change the shading there'll be a darker shade in the spots where your black is right so my advice and <clears throat> a lot of you guys may have already come across this but do your dark color first especially if you're using light colors like i'm using on here do the dark first so you'd peel all this out do your black with the color i'm using or if you're using whatever but if it's a considerably amount of darker that doesn't even make sense but anywho do your dark color first so it's okay to do that first and then do your lighter colors afterwards because it'll go over the lighter colors will go over the dark and you won't know the difference but the other way it'll look terrible <clears throat> so this that's what we're going to do so i'm still thinking oh, maybe i need something else on the top here but I don't want to overdo it. And the other thing is, before I put this on the cage, I got to fold. You see me lying there. I got to fold that lip down, so as it so as it overhangs on the front there. Um, any of you guys know the cage? You'll know what I'm talking about. The original one. Actually, tell you what, I've got the original top. This is the original top off this machine, so that it sits under there, right, like that. That's the original color scheme <clears throat> of this machine hence where i got this logo from uh, and you see how it bends down right so that bends down and so as it looks all well it looks better let's say that okay so then i'll fold this down i've got a mark here 
but just put it in a thing and bend it over the thing and it makes it look down <clears throat> anyway so that's where that's where we're at so i reckon let's get into it and i'll change the camera around let's start peeling some of this stuff off and give you a look at how we're going to go along the way all right guys so excuse the camera if it gets a bit wobbly i've got a stand that it's sitting on so let's get started so what the idea is like i was saying we'll start with this front piece Oop, I just bumped that with my belly. Sorry about that. Now, because this, like I said, this stuff, it's plastic coated both sides. Like I said, you draw your design on here and you flip him over and you start peel and you cut it, trim him out. And you can see here where I've done, <clears throat> where I've all my knife work. Fantastic, isn't it? But anyhow, so now what we do <clears throat> is we start peeling all of this out you peel the stuff out that you want to paint first and like i said it's going to be the black colors or the darker colors first so that we'll, let's just start peeling this out and see how we go here so just be careful and just try to just pick up the bits you want and this is not actually playing with playing fair right now but just persevere with it guys and then you just peel him up and you can see i don't know if you can see that on the camera but peel that out of there work your way around it Trying to just remember too that if you haven't quite got it in the corner, just be careful so you don't lift up the bits you don't want to be lifted. And um, peel him all the way out like this. And oops, I'm actually lifting something. Oh, that's okay. I almost lifted a bit that I didn't want to be lifted. Let's get my fingers in there. Okay. Like I said, just be careful. Don't need to rush it because that you may actually lift a piece of, that you don't want lifted and what'll happen then is you'll get paint underneath where you don't want it. So just take it easy, go steady, and hopefully with a bit of luck, this will all come out and actually don't do what I just did. I just put my bloody finger on the plastic. So I have to wipe that and it's, so I don't get a fingerprint in there, but it's probably a good idea to wipe it anyway, just so you don't get any fingerprints on the clean bits of plastic that you've already got spent time mucking around with so let's just keep going here peel him up as you can see is that showing up on the camera there yep that's fine and you know you don't have to get you know what let's just get in here with our hands and just pick it up now it doesn't want to do it all right there we go <clears throat> so here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, if you're wondering, guys, why well, there's a couple of holes in the middle of this body, uh, in the middle of this panel, it'll make sense down the road because I've got part of my suspension is pretty tall for the actual body. So just to make it fit better, i cut the holes. Um, you will see what I mean when we get to that point. But that's the general idea. Um, <clears throat> Let me get this, um, this, no, that'll stay. Okay, so the only the pieces you want lifted is what you take out. So where all this is here, where I've taken all this out, so I'll stop wiggling the bloody camera. All this in here and that will all be the darker color that you want to put in there. And, uh, and you leave all this on, leave all the rest on until you're ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me, and happy days. That's the basic plan. Um, I won't bore you with all the rest of these panels. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. All right, I'm 80 in the back row there. said, so can you do one more? And I said, okay, we'll do one more. How about we do <coughs> the name? See that? Sweet. You, you convinced me. All right, one more. We'll do one more and then I'll do the rest off the camera. So anyway, so you just peel that out, just like that, and um, hopefully, gets like that, and satisfying result at the end when it all works out for you, you know, just like that. <clears throat> and this stuff's pretty good, because you can buy this in a sheet or a roll. Um, 
I usually get like a, I think it's not all that cheap really, but when you consider the price of a new body or new panels or whatever for your car, it's, it is quite cheap when you think about it. I think this here in Australia is for metre by a metre square sheet is like, oh, I don't know, 40, 47, 48 bucks, something like that. Uh, whatever that converts out to for wherever you're from. Um, but, it, you know, cost effective. I mean, you do your own designs. And, you know, if you have a... The beauty of this stuff, too, when you've got a machine like this Kraken or something similar, is if you have a crash and you tear one up, you just get your template and you just make another one. And um, saves having to do everything all over again. You just make another one of that panel and away you go. Stick it back on done <clears throat> so there we have it and that's all it takes guys just peel her out then now that is ready for paint but a uh, bit of wax and grease wipe over then paint but anyway so that's ready to go now i'll continue the rest of this off camera and when we come back we'll start putting a bit of color on these and we'll just keep going. Righto. So, we got our bits out here. I don't know if you can see all of this, guys, but you'll get the idea. So we're just going to bloody... Um, beauty about this stuff is, too, I don't know if you can see on here. If you have a mishap, like I did on these, and forgot to cut the piece out the A and the piece out the P, you put tape bag over it. Because you've drawn on the other side, you can still put a bit of tape over there, draw and cut that piece out. Happy days. So that's the other beauty. But anyway, let's get some paint onto these things. So I'm just going to spray on here, guys. I don't know if you can see all the bits, but you'll get the general idea. So here we go. I'm just using a bit of black here. It's, this one, go on heavy coats first. Yeah, let that dry, okay? Light coats, you don't wanna make them too thick, cause, whoops, <laughs> sorry about that guys. Uh, you will have too much, you could get a run, and it doesn't look even, it'll look ugly. Just thin coats guys, you don't need too many on this, but enough to cover your areas that you wanna do, all right? But you can, if you want, flip it over, put it up to the, put it up to the sun, and see the patches you missed and just give her another light one again. So that's all we need to do. So I'll keep going with this and then I'll bring you back when I've got all the pieces painted. Okay guys, just uh, mind my shadow. So, as you can see, she's all, it turned out all right actually. What you see in there is the plastic on the other side. So never mind that bit of mess. But now we're, probably, we're just gonna try and do a little bit of smoke slash flame coming off this thing with the airbrush so let's uh, see how we go onto here so I'm just going to do a little bit of I don't want it too much you know like that don't mind my hands guys getting in the way You know, we're just going to do a few little curves coming up here. And wherever you do one side, you got to back it, you know what I mean? So we're just going to get a few shapes in here for now, you know. And it, you probably can't see it too much here right now, but um, my hands are in the way and just trying to get some shape. All right, guys, you'll actually show up in a minute. Let me start filling in some of these. Um, now I might get my smaller one. I just mixed up a bit of black, just with the same stuff that I painted this with, but diluted it down a touch. So, so here we go. We'll try and start adding some stuff in here. Bit hard, I got me a little stand thing in the way here. 
Well, what we're going, what the aim is, is to try and get some some shape happening, and then we bring it back. So you see some stuff starting to form here. Oh, bugger! Oh, there goes my compressor. <laughs> Oh, well, let's keep going while that's doing its thing. Right, guys, here we go. So we're using the colours now. So we'll start doing this, and then I'm going to go a little bit into there on both sides, just to get the idea. <laughs> So uh, here we go, let's, let's try this. Mind me, Shadow, guys. Let's go. Just lightly first, guys, go across. So that looks a bit funny, but it'll go, it'll cover all come out at the end of it. So most of this front is gonna be yellow. So plan out where you want your colors to be and go with that. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of yellow on the front of these, not too much. You know what I mean? So it's gonna go like that and you, it'll fade through. And just try and keep the shadow out of your way so you can see what's happening. So you just go work your way, make them the same. So it'll flow. The whole idea is the flow so it fades in, if that makes any sense. Now, see those lines there? I can wipe them off. That's just where I wipe the rag through, so that'll get rid of that. <clears throat> so what I'll do, I'll keep going with this, guys. I won't sh I'll show you a couple of different panels as we go through, and we'll have a look at what the end product's like. Okay guys, so <clears throat> all the rest of the panels are still out there drying. So this one is a dry. So what we're gonna do, after we've painted it all, we're backing it. Yep, we're backing it with some white, just to make it pop a bit. So let's do a reveal on this front with the skull and the stuff. So here we go, so we flip him over. So look at that, that looks cool, but wait. What we're going to do here is I'm just going to take this bit of tape off. Now, it's still got the plastic cover on here. Alright? So what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do here is we're just going to peel this off and you'll get a look at what this does. Oh, uh, look at this. Well, do you know what? It is coming off just nice. Okay, see, and where you've drawn on here? Right? It all disappears. There it goes. All right, and boom. There's the finished piece, guys. So, that actually come out pretty good. So, and you see how it's got the shine. It's got the shine on the outside. So it gives it a nice shiny look. And I don't know about you, but if I do say so myself, if I'm blowing my own trumpet, that come out pretty damn good. So, we'll look at the rest. They're still drying. So, what we'll do, we'll continue this on and I'll get all these fitted up to the cage and we'll give you a look at the final product. Well, there you have it. She's done. And, like I said, they're all mounted up. What a transformation. Now, that was, you know, relatively simple to do to spice up your machine and it's pretty well cost effective like i said before versus the new body panels to replace you know when you can do something simple like this and when you get sick of this rip them off cut out some new ones and do a different design i mean it's endless what you can do so you know like i said before i had to fold this piece over so you know it just finishes off that front section there folds over and <clears throat> excuse me what a transformation. That looks awesome. And then you have things like this on here that you've spent a bit of time, you know, marking out, cutting out. 
and it looks like stickers, decals, whatever however you want to say it from where you're from. And the paints I used, if you're interested in something similar to this, is your Tamiya, oh, upside down. So your PS27, you know, which is your fluorescent yellow. And yep, I know in the beginning, when we first started doing that front piece, it looked green, but at the end, you know, well, that's, you know. And then we've got the orange, which I'm gonna get the bloody thing upside down. Uh, fluorescent orange, PS24, PS27 for the yellow, and for the red, we've got PS20, fluorescent red. So, and of course, a couple of extra tins, you know, I did use a couple of full tins, I think they're both empty, I think. And this was the, the white that I used. Now, this is, it says there, pearl white. You don't have to use this. This, this I only use this because this is all I could get at the time. In the old Tamiya polycarbonate paint, white will do. So, in, in saying that, if you're interested in the, you know, the pearl white, there it is, PS57. But you don't have to use pearl. Just a normal polycarbonate white is perfectly fine for backing all this up. Now, <clears throat> in in saying all this, you know, if you want, to, you can go more on the back if you want or whatever. Um, but uh, what this means is the PS means that's for polycarbonate. So your polycarbonate panels, your polycarbonate bodies, like your car bodies that you'd buy for whatever machine you're running. PS is for polycarbonate. You can use the other stuff. Like, like to me, it's got the other stuff and it. it's a TS or whatever. So that's just normal model type paint for you know plastic models and whatever else this stuff is designed for polycarbonate so it can it can bend and move you know like and it won't flake off but like i said you can use the other stuff but it may not last as long on especially like rcs that get a bit of the cop a bit of a hiding so that's just the colors that i used for this project now have a look at it i mean that looks pretty sweet Actually, you know what? Let's take it in the sun because there's a bit of metallic in this and we'll, get, we'll give you a look at it. So let's take it outside. Take it outside in the sun where, it, my God, it's bright today. So let's have a look. Uh, if you can notice that, see the metallic. Now, you can use whatever colours you want at the end of the day. It doesn't necessarily have to be black with this. It can be a dark blue. It can be whatever. Whatever takes your fancy. But this was the only black I had and it was metallic. So it adds another nice little effect you know and you can see it sparkles in the sun so that's her finished product i'll take a photo of it sitting on the chassis and we'll give you a look at the the hold unit righto there we go i got it on some wheels admittedly these are off these are off my 5b and you know they go pretty good with it but i think personally orange orange bead locks i reckon so i am going to order some tires and going with this i think orange is going to be the go so i mean that's what's that's you know it looks quite cool actually so at the end of the day i mean something like this easy fix yeah it takes a few minutes <clears throat> and then some probably depending on your design but there we go, finished product. And she's nearly ready to rip. I've just got to get a couple of things, finish off all my stuff in there. So coming soon, running video guys, stay tuned for that one. So there guys, done. You know, some not so tricky, create your own design, come up with something pretty cool. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, if you like wrenching and doing stuff, painting, there's a simple solution, guys. Plus, you can you can preserve the original panels, original, you know, body, so to speak, for your machine. And make something like this, make it unique, make it your own. Come up, be creative, guys. And, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff like this or similar or different but it's up to you. The idea is up inside there. Simple. Anyway, 
I hope this guys has inspired you, you guys to get creative. Do something different with your rides. Give them some flair. Like you ain't going to lose this thing out in the paddock. It's, you see it a mile away. But like I said, get creative. Put your own thoughts down on some paper. Draw some stuff on here. You can use that. Just go wild with it. So hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Not very long, well, maybe it is a touch long, but, you know, get inspired, get involved, do something different. And like I say all the time, it's up to you. And like, find an excuse, guys. Now you got a cool looking machine, take it out for a rip. Have some fun. Stay tuned, got some more coming and enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the hobby, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.